So with cold and flu season ramping up across the nation and now Omicron also spreading quickly, it can be difficult sometimes to tell the difference between the three. With the common cold, symptoms can include a sore throat, cough, congestion, a runny or stuffy nose with a slower onset. For the flu, it's fever, fatigue, cough, headaches, body aches, and a runny or stuffy nose with a fast onset. And for COVID-19, it's headaches, sore throat, body aches, fever, with the biggest marker being the loss of taste and smell. But with Omicron, the variant, the symptoms look a little bit different. Talking cough, fatigue, congestion, runny or stuffy nose being the most common so far. Obviously encouraging anyone who, because we have so much COVID right now, and that's something we're really concerned about, should definitely go get tested. You know, whether or not that's go to the pharmacy and pick up a rapid test or go to one of the testing sites and get tested. A reminder the demand for COVID tests is high right now with many pharmacies limiting the number of at-home tests you can buy at one time. Many pharmacies also running out. Well, if you've been wearing the same couple of masks for the last few months, it might be time to upgrade or replace. Experts say cloth masks provide the least amount of protection, filtering only about 30 to 40 percent of droplets. However, they add it's still better than no mask at all. Disposable surgical mask higher on the list, but both N95s and KN95s are considered the gold standard. Dr. Graham Carlos says M95 masks are the only mask he wears when working in the ICU. He calls them essential for frontline workers, but admits they're not for everyone. So if you're going to take a flight, that'd be one where I'd probably wear one. If my wife was sick and needed chemo and I didn't want to get Omicron, I'd probably wear one even to the grocery store. Uh, so you just have to consider your own personal context and take it from there. Dr. Carlos adds, though most healthcare workers wear them, there is no significant shortage of N95 masks right now. He says wearing one will help your local hospital system by limiting the potential spread of the virus.